Warning. The following video contains hunting and shooting that's educational in nature, but may be offensive to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, guys, so let me tell you what's going on here. Uh, this is a 50 BMG, and I am down here in Texas. It is uh, getting middle of February, and I am, uh, my mission on this trip is going to be to take a doe using this 50 BMG. Now, uh, some of those that may be watching this have not seen, but I did actually a video up in Michigan here a couple months ago that's right here on our YouTube channel that uh, where I took a BMG and I killed a doe without even hitting it. How? We don't know, but if you haven't checked that video out, make sure and check it out. Now, what I've got going here, I've got three cameras. I've got a GoPro right here. I've got my one video camera here. I've got another video camera right here. And what I'm gonna try to do, I've got a field down here that's over, it's 600 yards or more down here to the bottom. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see if I can pick off a doe. It's getting late in the season. We've gotta harvest does just like you have to harvest bucks to get our management numbers right. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna to try to do it with this BMG. Our friends over at Freedom Munitions have provided me with ammunition. And this is a big round, a really big round. And what we're gonna be doing is we've got several hours before dark. We're gonna get here. We're gonna get all settled down. We're gonna get our binoculars and we're gonna see if we can pick out a big old fat doe down here at the bottom of the field and see if we can uh, put a nice shot on her and see what this 50 BMG does to a white tailed doe. Now, if you got any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and post them below. And it's time right now to get really, really quiet. And let's keep our fingers crossed that a doe comes in. Somebody showed up. Baby, that right there, boom, instantly. Holy smokes. The cool thing about this is, the shot that I'm taking is a high percentage shot. What I'm talking about by that is that either I'm gonna drop it in its tracks or I'm not. And the good thing about it is, there is no wasted meat. And as you can see, I mean, I sat here for two hours and didn't see a deer, not one. And then all of a sudden, it's like, Somebody put the switch and the deer came out everywhere. That right there is bad medicine on anything you shoot with it. Now, for those of you that would think, well, a 50 BMG, isn't that a little bit overkill on a white-tailed deer? You know what? Yeah. Why would you need or why would you want to have a 50 BMG to go on a deer hunt? Let me ask you a question. Why would you want a Corvette that goes 160 miles an hour when I mean, hey, speed limit's 55 or 70 or whatever. It's because you can have one. Okay, there's no wasted meat. I'm fixing to show you. If you have any questions or comments about the video, go ahead and post them below. Let's pack up, go down there, and I'll show you what a white-tailed doe looks like taken with a 50 BMG. 
That was sweet. All right. All right, the 50 BMG is one heck of a gun, and this is a really, really nice doe. This doe's probably 140 pounds, but it's a, it's a big doe. It's a nice, mature animal. It's what I wanted to take. Now, I want to point something out, people, because a 50 BMG is so cool looking. I mean, it's big. It is monstrous of a gun. It weighs over 30 pounds. That People think it's just going to do a tremendous amount of damage, but I want you to look. That right there is not that much damage, to be honest with you. I neck shot it. There is absolutely no wasted meat on it at all. And uh, I think that a 50 BMG, although it is one heck of a round, I think it gets a bad rap. I think too many people wind up, uh, they're, uh, they want to see more damage than what it really does. Now, you know, if you've watched our YouTube videos, you've seen tons of me shooting from bottles to all kinds of different targets, bowling pins, all kinds of cool stuff. And yeah, it does a pretty good job. You know, it destroys a lot of stuff, but you know what? When you neck shoot a deer like this, it does not destroy the meat. And so, is the gun overkill for white-tailed deer? Yeah, maybe, but you know what? A, uh, a fast car is probably overkill for the freeway, but you know what? I still like fast cars and I like big guns too. If you got any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and post them below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And then uh, what we're gonna do, we're going to make another video here. As soon as we get done taking this out of the field, I'm going to field dress this up and I'm going to show you how I can take this deer right here and remove every bit of meat from its bones. So much so that the coyotes are going to be pissed off that we took so much meat from them. So anyway, thanks for watching and make sure and subscribe to our channel.